So we're almost there then, we're ready, almost um, ready to go Michael, are you the, the sort of player where you're just glad to, to get pre-season out of the way and get down to business? I'm, I'm guessing that's probably most players. Yeah, I think everyone feels the same, but you've got to do your work to make sure you're ready for this first game of the season, so it feels like it's been a long time coming, but I'm glad we're actually there now. Do you feel fit and sharp? Do you feel you're, you're in the right place? Yeah, I think as a squad and everyone here, we've done our work we've needed to do, we've got our minutes in. We need to get in and I think we look strong, sharp and ready. Pre-season seems to have gone really well from the outside looking in. Do you think the fact that there's been consistency with the management and with a lot of the, the players as well, has that made a difference? Yeah, it helps obviously. Um, consistency is getting the stuff in, playing with certain players. But I think this time of year it is about getting fit. So results obviously they matter as well because you want to win and start the season Good. So I think that it all builds up to Saturday, and that's the main thing. Yeah, the focus, the focus is there, and the confidence as well as everyone. It, it's a bit of an odd one because you've got exactly the same game as you had this time last year, but everyone feeling feeling happy ahead of it. Yeah, I remember last year. It was a tough game there last year as well at the start of the season, but I feel I feel we're strong as a team, um, every single one of us. So I think it's a perfect game. Go there to do what we have to do. And the manager's been quite clear in terms of the target for this season that promotion is the aim and you look at what you did last season and you've got a, a, a good platform from which to build. Yeah, we've got a very good platform. Um, as I said again, we started well, so it's key that we just take it a game at a time and we all know our end goal, but at this time we've got to take it one game at a time and do what we can in that. And it's early days in terms of your captaincy, but are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. They're a good bunch of lads to be fair, so... It's not, it's not too hard to keep everyone going, so it's good, yeah, I enjoy it. Yeah, and you've got Ben Anik and uh, Gabby and Jack Collison as well, you've got some experienced faces to help you out. Yeah, because we are overall a very young squad, so it's good players like Ben, Gabs, Jack, played high levels, got a lot of experience, so it's good to have them sort of players around as well. I think being titled as captain, but we've got a lot of leaders and a lot of people in the dressing room that can do the job, so as a team, I think we're, we're there. Yeah, and you're, you're at the wrong club really, aren't you, for, for feeling young. You need to, to move to a club with loads of 30-year-olds. <laughs> yeah, I know. You say that again. <laughs> we are very young, but not only young, they're very good as well. So it's a positive thing for the club and playing with them as well is good. Yeah, and, and you, you might be able to give us a little bit of an exclusive in terms of this interview because before we started, you were talking about the beard and you've hinted that it, it might go after the weekend. Oh, you just have to wait and see. Who knows? Eh? <laughs> Who knows? It's... Uh, there's, there's no doubt that whenever people speak to you at the moment, they must they must talk about it. How how old is the beard now? It's it's obviously had some significant growth. I think it's about eight months old at the minute, but it's going it's going good. It's going well, so we'll see see where it goes. I feel like there should be some sort of club that you should be able to join of like expert beard wearers, stroke curators, because this is well people can see it on the camera we're being filmed as well but I'll describe it for people listening on the radio in case you haven't seen it it's utterly enormous it adds like an extra third to your face yeah to be fair this one ain't very groomed it's just a mess so, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I like it but little mm. ones do pull on it so it's becoming a bit annoying so I just have to see where it goes yeah I can see why the kids would want to pull on it because even sitting here I'm kind of tempted although yeah. obviously that would be <laughs> no. that would be quite rude no, I don't think good. that's going to that's going to end very well no, it wouldn't um, have you had to buy special product stroke equipment to deal with it no no not me I just get on <laughs> with it I just let it grow out it wants to grow and, and of course you paired it with, with short hair as well is this to provide a, a deliberate contrast no well I do try and grow my hair, but I just can't get through the stages of doing it, so I keep cutting it off, but I'll get there one day. <laughs> You'd end up looking like Jesus if you went for the, the long hair as well. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, then, atmosphere around the club, really, really good. Everyone's positive. Everyone's ready to go? Yeah, lads are in good spirit, so just looking forward to Saturday now. So got to concentrate and do what we've got to do over the next couple of days to make sure we're there.